pretty amazing week for disability care in Australia and that's one of the reasons that I'm seeing some people for a second time this week. We leave this week knowing that disability care has been legislated, it is the law of Australia, knowing that there is an ongoing funding source, the Medicare levy, to support disability care and knowing after today that disability care has been secured for almost 70% of the Australian population and I and Jenny Macklin will keep working with the remaining states and territory to get this done around the nation. It's with a great sense of pleasure that I hand over to the Premier for his words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. And can I acknowledge uh, Prime Minister Julie Villard, uh, Jenny Macklin as Minister for Disability Reform in the Federal Government, uh, Mary Wooldridge, uh, Minister for Disability Reform and Services in the Coalition Government here in Victoria, and Andrea Coot as Parliamentary Secretary. This is a great day for Victoria and a particularly proud day for all of those people who fought long and hard for proper disability services in this state. We in Victoria are very proud that we have been leaders in disability services in this state for many, many years. We have been one of the first states to fund individual uh, people with disabilities and giving them the power to make their own decisions about the services they purchase. We are a state who have been very much on the front foot of fighting for a national disability insurance scheme. We certainly are very are proud of the fact that the launch site in Baalm will start on the 1st of July this year and we have been very much to the forefront of promoting that launch site which will benefit 5,000 people in the Baalm region. We have been working hard with the uh, groups across Victoria to make sure that we could deliver to Victoria a disability service system that takes care of the needs of all those with significant and proud and profound disabilities. And I'm very, very proud today as Premier of Victoria with Mary Dwaldridge as Minister to sign up with the Federal Government for a full rollout of disability cares in this state from July 2019. What will happen is the launch site will start in Barwon on the 1st of July this year. From 1st of July 2016, the transition will be over three years for the full scheme rollout in 2019. And in 2019, as the Prime Minister said, there will be $2.5 billion from the Victorian Government, together with $2.6 billion from the Federal Government, making sure that the over 100,000 Victorians who have a disability be a significant or profound disability, will have the care that they need, the support they need, the programs they need to live as full and independent and as quality of life as they can. And that's what we're working towards and that's what we're achieving. Can I say on a personal note um, that uh, aside from my role as a politician, I spent uh, two years as a uh, house parent for intellectually disabled in Hamilton. Tix at the time, severely autistic. He's proudly part of my family today. Uh, sorry. And uh, so as a person, as a family member, as a carer, as somebody who's worked in the disability area and as a politician, I'm very, very proud to be here today as a Victorian with Victoria signing up to the full disability care system from 2019 and the lead up to it. This is a really great day for Victoria. It's a great day for people with disabilities, their carers and their families. It is a day we can all be proud of. I'd like to join with the Prime Minister to thank uh, Jenny Macklin, Mary Wooldridge and Andrew Coote for their, le their leadership and their work in this area over a considerable time. I'd like to thank all the advocates, all the people who've worked for so long in the area of disabilities. Uh, I know the people who've worked as carers, people who've worked in CRUs and houses, people who've worked in day program areas. They are absolute, uh, compassionate, loving people. 
And uh, to all the people with disabilities in this state, can I say this is a great day. You can be very proud of what both your federal and state governments have done today because this is part of making a difference to people who need it most. Thank you. Uh, we're happy to take questions. Uh, well, we'll be getting on with that work. I mean, uh, we're now in a situation where we're at almost 70% of the Australian population. We've got more work to do with Queensland, with the Northern Territory and with Western Australia. And Jenny Macklin and I will be getting on with that work uh, during the course of the weeks to come. Will they be the, will they be the hardest deal to do? Well, all of the arrangements are the same for jurisdictions to come on. Uh, this is a national scheme, so by definition, uh, what people get out of it, the support that they get out of it has to be the same. One of the things we want to make sure is that people uh, with disabilities and their families can choose to move interstate the way other families do. Uh, and one of the things that we've had very clearly as feedback is that people, uh, you know, they manage to put bits of care together and then think, gee, if I went to another state, if a family member of mine went to get a job opportunity in another state, how would I put my package of care together if I moved? Uh, and so that's a big restriction on people. So that if your family did decide to move from Victoria to Western Australia or the other way round, uh, that you would know that you wouldn't, and so the, and we'll be taking those same arrangements to the remaining jurisdictions. For us, it comes on top of years and years of work, and that's for us. Uh, and I know that I'm looking out on a crowd of people for whom this has been the labour, literally, of a lifetime. Uh, so uh, when you use the word quick, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's got to be understood in a proper context. Uh, I think uh, for us, uh, we've uh, worked on it now over a number of years, asked the Productivity Commission for guidance, then got the Productivity Commission re re report, then responded to it, uh, then made available a billion dollars to get the launch sites done, uh, negotiated with states and territories for that, uh, and then we've kept doing the work. Uh, and that has brought us to this week where we've seen considerable movement over seven days. But you only get to that big movement over seven days if the years and years of work in the lead up has been done. And it's a tribute to very proud and, and responded and worked with them. And now colleagues around the states who have been running disability services and doing many good things have seen their way to taking the steps necessary uh, to join together to get this done for everyone here in Victoria. And we're obviously very hopeful, everyone around the country. Uh, well, the eligibility criteria is dealt with in the legislation, so that's already gone through the Parliament and become the law of Australia. Uh, yes, of course, there are regulations and uh, rules to make under that legislation, and we're getting on with doing that work. Uh, I'll turn to Jenny Macklin to take you through what's in the legislation, which is available now. And I can say hello to Sophie in the meantime. <laughs> Thanks very much, uh, Prime Minister. The legislation sets out the eligibility criteria, so people need to have a permanent uh, disability, and then uh, within the different types of disability, uh, intellectual disability, physical, cognitive, uh, sensory, uh, then uh, psychiatric disabilities, then, of course, we'll look at the... Uh, reasonable and necessary supports that people need to be able to participate in society. So uh, those uh, eligibility criteria is clearly set out in the now Act of Parliament that went through the Parliament at the end of March. Oh, we had to work through a number of issues with our uh people with disabilities, first and foremost, our service providers, and, uh, of course, there were financial arrangements that had to be agreed so that we could be assured that we would have the uh, best outcome possible for people with disabilities, their 